Okay, I think it's recording. It is now Monday, January 25th, 2021. And I'm trying to slow down my thinking. I just had a therapy session online. I'm one of those self-aware persons who is not embarrassed or ashamed or afraid to say that I'm in therapy. And I've been in therapy for, I'm 52 years old right now. My name is Shannon Nicole Kringen. I live in Seattle, Washington, United States of America. And I like being an authentic, honest person as much as I can. Not that I'm at all perfect. I feel very defensive and self-conscious. I feel very, um, the upside is that I feel self-aware. I put a little teeny bit of makeup on today. I usually don't wear any makeup. I don't really care if somebody wears makeup or not, uh, whether they're male or female or trans, all of it. I don't really, any gender, I don't really think it matters if somebody wears makeup or not, whether they're any gender. Um, <clears throat> So I live alone with my cat in an apartment in Seattle. Uh, for a living, I'm an art model and an artist. And most of that is online now, although there are a few art schools that still hire me in person in a new different way with lots of lots of lots and lots of rules, um, some of which I agree with and some of which I do not agree with, um, but I'm, a conformist and I follow the rules in regards to that to keep my jobs alive. I have certain controversial opinions, which I will not name on this video. So I just had my therapy and we talked about different personal relationships, uh, my family dynamic, trying to figure out if I'm autistic or not. I don't know if it matters if I'm officially assessed. Uh, I in very, I'm very intuitive. Uh, I'm very, very intelligent in some ways, and yet I seem to have some deficits and some blind spots. And I have a challenging relationship in my life that I'm trying to figure out. In some ways, it doesn't seem very healthy. Um, I've never really met somebody that I'm fully compatible with. I don't know if that's possible, but I know that interacting with somebody that you argue with all the time is really not healthy for either person. And if the only way you can get along is to walk on eggshells and be fake, that's not a good sign. So I'm trying to figure out what is my purpose on this earth? other than being myself. I can't speak for anybody but me. I think everyone's purpose might be a little different. I never had kids. I never got married. I'm an only child. I'm left-handed. I'm an earth monkey, Scorpio, if that matters to anyone. Um, I'm not an atheist, but I'm not religious. I believe in uh, the concept of non-duality. I think that the us versus them is really stupid and gets people into trouble. If you do male versus female, left versus right, um, progressive versus conservative, uh, one religion versus another religion or spiritual people versus atheists or scientists versus spiritual, it's like, it only leads to trouble and conflict and war. Uh, that's my opinion. Uh, I am troubled by some of the rules being implemented online and in society at large, which I will not elaborate on because I don't want to say anything that uh, makes people want to put a gag on me. Um, I recently wrote a poem in my creative writing group. Maybe I'll read that on my next radio show. I have a radio show called Goddess Kring Radio. I do it every Thursday. 
it used to be on a local radio station, but now it's just on Mixcloud and Patreon. Long story, won't go into it. I'm liberated and more free now than ever before. And I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for the forest. I'm grateful for breathing oxygen. I'm grateful for the beneficial bacteria in the forest and the microbes and the soil. I'm grateful for my gut biome and the microorganisms in the forest and the rich, fertile, healthy soil that is in the forest. I am grateful that I have the freedom and the ability to walk in the forest. Does this mean I'm autistic because I like to go like this? I don't know. Um, does it matter if I'm autistic or not? Does it matter if most of my problems are because of my challenging childhood, that I was neglected a bit as a kid and invalidated and criticized a little too much for my own good? And that as a little kid, I was burdened with knowing my mother and father's personal problems too much. <clears throat> Both of them confided in me about some of their adult problems and their love lives and their careers and their financial challenges. I remember being a little kid in second or third grade and worrying about my parents' problems. Instead of focusing on myself, I was worried about them, which obviously little kids can't do anything to help their parents fix their problems because I was just a little kid in San Diego. And so I still live with this feeling like I'm 52 years old, which is embarrassing that, that I never got married or had kids. And yet I give myself credit. I never really wanted to though, but I don't know if I didn't get married and have kids because I'm wounded or because I really never wanted to. I don't know. Um, there's a lot of things I don't know. I, I seem to have a lot of blind spots. I feel very angry, which probably means I'm very scared. Um, I feel very defensive. I feel like other people judge me all the time, whether it's true or not. Sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. Uh, sometimes I misinterpret. I like to spend a lot of time to myself. I get overwhelmed by, uh, I'm very sensitive to smell. I'm very sensitive to visual, to everything. I'm sensitive to music. I'm sensitive to the way things smell, to the way things taste, to people's energy. So I'm trying to figure out what the purpose of my life is on this planet. Uh, I want to keep my freedom to walk in the forest. I'm really good with my house plants and my cat. I have him on a special raw meat diet. He's mildly diabetic. Um, if I had done what the mainstream vet told me to do, I don't think my cat would even be with us on this planet. Um, I took him to a naturopathic holistic vet and she agreed with what I'm doing. If you need to hear that a professional vet agreed with what I'm doing, which is to, to take him for walks in the grass outside every day, to feed him uh, nutritionally balanced cat food for all life stages, that's raw meat and no carbs, uh, to not have to give him injections of insulin because it's very dangerous to give a cat insulin because you have to give him just the, the smallest amount you can imagine, which is really hard to measure properly. And then you have to constantly prick their ear. So it's a long story. So I, I, and my cat is doing well and he doesn't need to go to the vet uh, right now. So he's doing really well. So I also am taking zinc and vitamin C and vitamin D and magnesium and spirulina and um, grass-fed animal organ, liver, spleen, pancreas, heart, kidney uh, capsules. I also eat meat, I eat wild boar, <clears throat> venison, elk, lamb, beef, chicken, pork, steak, you name it. I have salmon, fish, red snapper, calamari, shrimp, um, scallops. I eat a variety of animal foods. I eat fruits and vegetables, but mostly what I eat is carnivore and I'm feeling much better. I feel healthier than ever before, eating a mostly carnivore diet. Um, and I'm a human on this planet and I want to stay healthy and away from chemicals. I want to stay from away from artificial chemicals. I use non-toxic unscented cleaners in my house only. I do not use harsh chemicals on my skin or my laundry or my house. 
And when I go out in public, I avoid using harsh chemicals um, for my health, to maintain my health, I avoid harsh chemicals. So, but it's none of my business what other people do. It's only my business what I do and how I can help my family and my friends. I would like to spend more time doing my artwork. I have a creative writing group that I belong to. So I just wanted to share, I hope mm -hmm. this is recording me properly. I guess I'll call it good for today. I just wanted to check in for today. It's January 25th, 2021. My name is Shannon Nicole Kringen. My website is shannonkringen.com. You can also support me on Patreon. I'm trying to figure out what the point of my videos is. And it's just basically to express myself as a unique, authentic human being. Um, there's a lot of kind of phony baloney lights, camera action. Um, being expressed. And I'm not here to put myself down. I think that I'm a really good person. I'm really smart and intuitive and in touch with wisdom. Uh, but I am also moody, angry, flawed, um, kind of self-centered. You know, I'm kind of a jerk sometimes. I have my inner Darth Vader and my Luke Skywalker. So I guess I'm here to be honest and say that I, I admire people who are as authentic as possible people who admit their flaws and their mistakes, but also are not afraid to shine. I am very talented. I am very insightful and wise. I, have, I do very unique artwork. I do some really beautiful abstract. This is a pastel drawing I did, Windsong Spiral Drive. It's also the name of a poem that I wrote, Windsong Spiral Drive. I'm a really good art model. And I'm a really good artist. I'm really good with plants and animals. I'm good in nature. Maybe I'm not as good in my personal life. Uh, I'm really not good at figuring out who I'm compatible with and romantically. Um, I'm trying. I'm in a relationship right now that it's not fully working, but it's kind of working. And um, I won't say anything else because he's very private and not online in any way. But um, I did a, a, a Zoom with my dad yesterday and because I really miss him and haven't seen him in two years. My mom will not Zoom with me. She doesn't like that, so she will not. So I miss my mom, but I cannot see her, although I get to visit her next week because I have a modeling gig near where she lives. So I'm going to visit my mom in a very limited way that she feels comfortable with. Uh, I'm having a lot of grief and anger and sadness and fear, but I'm also very grateful for my health and I have a good immune system and I'm grateful to be alive and that I have the freedom to walk in the forest and breathe oxygen. But I'm really angry about some of the things happening that I don't think are ethical, but I won't elaborate on that. I'm just going to say I believe in keeping my mind open and questioning everything, whether it's good or bad whether it's mainstream or, or alternative, I think the us versus them gets us into trouble. The way people are polarizing and demonizing each other and stereotyping each other is ironic because we're supposed to go beyond stereotyping each other into little groups. And yet we seem to be stereotyping each other into little groups, the good guys versus the bad guys, blah, blah, blah. Um, there it is. Okay, so this is Shannon Kring and Goddess Kring saying hello, welcome to today. And I'm just going to do what feels right and take good care of myself and my family and my friends and do whatever I can do to make the world a better place and try to forgive uh, things happening in the world that I disagree with and I have no control over. That's all. So shannonkringen.com is my website. Um, write me with questions or comments. Please subscribe. If you're watching this on YouTube or BitChute or Rumble, please subscribe. Um, I'm going to share this video probably on Facebook, BitChute, YouTube, and Rumble. So I'm Shannon Kringen, an artist and a model in Seattle, just an authentic person. And I'm not perfect. That doesn't mean that I say everything perfectly, but, um, I like to think I'm an authentic, genuine person who is trying to inspire people in some way to do what they love, follow your heart, follow your dreams, follow your, follow your, your wisdom. Um, 
Don't let other people push you around in a way that's unreasonable. You don't have to be a victim of other people bossing you around. Listen to your own inner wisdom and your intuition and um, do whatever you want. But that's some of my advice. That's especially advice to myself is to listen to my heart and my wisdom and to honor my desire for mostly to have solitude. So have a good day, everyone, or night. Thanks for being here. Bye for now.